Well, hello there. It's been about a month since we last spoke. And in that month, I uh, got a new job. And for that whole month, I was in training for that job and doing an Inktober piece every single evening. Um, I made it to day 30 before I missed a day. So I think I'd call it a success, uh, to be quite honest, to toot my own horn and all of that. Um, some days I actually did two because I didn't like the drawing that I did the previous evening, <clears throat> but somehow I made it to posting sometime around noon maybe, maybe in the afternoon, but I did it, I did it, I did Inktober for the third or fourth time in a row. Either way, big accomplishment, I think. I'm pretty proud of myself. And I have 33-ish, maybe, uh, new drawings. And I'm going to show them to you, if you would like. If you don't, there's an X on this window somewhere. But if you do, here we go. This is the first drawing. The prompt was crystal, and I did some Googling, and pretty much everything, every single prompt, I needed a little bit of help, um, or at least most of the prompts, I needed some help. So I consulted with good old Google uh, images, and um, Crystal Beach <clears throat> in Florida, goodness, came up, and um, so I drew a beach. I drew a little little boardwalk looking rampy thing, and uh, I don't know. This one just didn't, I don't know, the, the line, the like harsh uh, pen line, it's like a metallic sort of sharpie marker, kind of turned me off. I just didn't, I liked some of it. I liked, um, kind of liked the shoreline that I did, uh, and the clouds. I liked the clouds a bit, but it just didn't, it didn't do it for me. So I went ahead and I did another one, which I like a lot better. Uh, it's a little burb on a beach with a crystal coming out of the water and He's just not sure what's going on. And I like it. I uh, just pretty much copied what I'd done in the other one besides the, besides the boardwalk thing. Uh, kind of softened up the shoreline there with just some, some white pen instead of harsher, darker colors. Um, and, uh, yeah. He's, uh, probably just waking up from a nap or something and doesn't really know what's going on. There's just this giant hunk of amethyst or something just sitting in the water. <laughs> the second prompt was suit. And I did this lady this lady burb, she, uh, she's feeling pretty proud of herself. She's got her suit on, she's gonna go for a big swim. Um, the colors are a little weird. I, uh, tried to make it lighter and it just wasn't, so I just rolled with it. Whatever. Looks good still to me, I guess. Uh, and yeah, just a little feminine... Fem feminine? Why does that word sound weird? Little, uh, little women empowerment here. <laughs> she's, uh, she's doing fine, and she wants you to know that you are too. Prompt number three was Vessel. I did this little submarine looking guy. He's just cruising through the water, beep beeping at things. Uh, 
Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't have much to say about this. It's just a, a submarine moving through the water. Uh, prompt number three, or sorry, prompt number four, wait a minute. Prompt number four is not, uh, did a snake here, he's tied himself in a knot, and he's the bane of his own existence. I, I liked this one, this is one of my first favorite ones. Um, Pretty simple, didn't take me very long, but I like it. I like doing the shadows of his, of his body and his little face. Yeah. Yeah. Poor little snake. He'll be okay. He'll figure it out. Prompt number five was Raven. Well, well, you don't say. I mean, really, it's just a Raven. He's, he's being himself. On a rock. I enjoyed drawing his wings and putting some blue in the black paint, kind of giving him a little bit of iridescence there. Um, this was kind of a quick one too. Well, there, there's several of these that didn't take very long, but they actually ended up being my favorite ones. Number six was Spirit. I didn't really know what to do with this one. Again, it was a Google image thing, and a, a sign for a liquor store in California came up. So, I, uh... Drew it. And the sign was fun to do. All the little dots. And, uh... Yeah. All, all the other dots. Because... Needed to give it something more than just trees and the sign. Mm-hmm. Prompt number seven was fan. I drew a peacock. I'm really enjoying this line pattern type thing. Um, it's kind of popular now, but it's really fun to do, so I don't even care. I'm just gonna make it my own. Just playing with some blues and greens and red. And I watercolored over its body to kind of see if I could get it to show up on the black. It didn't really, but that's okay. I like the way it came out. Yep. Prompt number eight was watch. And it's a little frog watching the moon, having some thoughts. I really wanted to do like a splatter thing for the stars, but I didn't want to get him splattered too. I just figured I'd probably ruin things if I tried doing that, so I just drew him in. It worked out just as well. Yeah. I'm kind of experimenting with ways to do circles on a moon and make it look more like like, give it more depth. Haven't quite figured that out yet. Uh, number nine was pressure. <laughs> this was a really quick one, one evening when I wasn't really feeling it. Um, but I knew I had to do something. Uh, it's just a, f a blowfish type of thing. Fish. Thing fish. Um... Feeling like it's got a fart. Because, I don't know, do fish fart? 
I'm not entirely sure. It's possible. I know snakes fart, but they don't live underwater, so... I don't know. Maybe someone can clear that up for me when they watch this video. Uh, number 10 was pick. I uh, started out with some hands and um, I kind of wanted to do like a little baby snake or something. Um, but I like, I couldn't fit what I wanted to fit in here. So I ended up drawing a little fish and it worked out just fine. I choose you, little fish, I think was my caption. Yep, he's choosing that little fish to take home. Or she, whoever's hands those are. Or they. Non-binary people as well. Who knows? Uh, number 11 was sour. It's a snake swallowing a lemon and having regrets. <laughs> Wanted to do a little comic for this. I really like this size of paper for comics, or at least just like, you know, vertical panels. It works, works really well. I don't get overwhelmed. It, it kind of like automatically fits and I can see it. Like I can envision what it'll look like better on a smaller piece of paper, which I guess makes sense. It's logical, but yeah. <laughs> a little tear in his eye like, oh, I just swallowed a lemon. Oh no. Number 12 was stuck. Uh, poor little turtle here fell on her back. I was having some trouble with the colors of the shell and then, then it just got too late and I also didn't want to like stress the paper out by going over it again with another color so I just left it. Looks good. I'm okay with it. Yep. I have faith that she'll figure it out too. Someday. Some hour. Some minute. Um, number 13 was Roof. This was a favorite. It's probably one of my favorites too. Just because it kind of came to me as I was working on it. It's a bird shouting from the top of a roof that it's my money and I need it now. If you get the reference, you do. If not, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so I have two drawings for the next one. The next one was Tick. This was my first drawing, and I have a really bad habit of going really heavy on the watercolor sometimes, and it just looks messy. I just didn't really like the way this came out. I didn't like the laziness of the white lines. Um, I don't know. It just didn't... It, it like barely even looks like a tick to me. I don't know. So I woke up the next day and did a new one. I don't know what the heck is going on here. I just enjoyed drawing it and um, probably could have added some shadow down here, but uh, I just like the aesthetic of this a lot more. I like the like light red or pink <laughs> against the yellow. I like that color combination. Um, yeah. <laughs> and these these uh, 
dots in a circle were really fun to do. And then like work on the shadows of the circle and just kind of make it up as I go. It was fun. I like this little tail. I don't know what's going on here, but it, I like the shadowing on it. I was kind of proud of that. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like a vortex. I don't know. Very strange. Uh, number 15 was um, helmet. I just drew a helmet and put something in it, and it happened to be a snail saying, I am Sparta, as it do. Kind of like this punk rock green hair on top. <laughs> this is kind of like, I drew a similar snail. I believe it was last Inktober. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I might do a series of these snails at some point because they turn out really nice when I fiddle with them in Photoshop, too. I get, like, I do cheat sometimes. I add a little, like, highlight in the center just to make them pop a little bit. That's really all I use Photoshop for is to enhance the colors in some of my drawings. Artistic liberties on my own art. I think that's allowed, you know It's what those programs are there for Anyway, I don't know why I'm justifying myself Just kind of telling you my secrets, I guess But yeah This was probably one of my favorite ones, too. I like the color scheme I didn't overdo it on the colors. So they're really soft in the background and the shadows are the way I want them to be Um, number 16 was compass. <clears throat> I didn't really know what to do with this one. I just found an image of a bird outline or silhouette and drew it. And then, uh, drew a circle around it made of circles with, a like a weather pane sort of thing that would be on a rooftop, um, going through it. I don't know. I just kind of, kind of winged it. <laughs> Get it on this one. Um, yeah, simple, two colors, and then I was able to do what I wanted to for the rest of the night, because <laughs> I guess I didn't really feel like drawing, but I did anyway. Um, number 17 was Collide. As we can see what's happening here, it's a meteor coming to crash on Earth to wipe out the poor dinosaurs. And he's, he's standing there with his teeth bared. And, uh, bared. Bared teeth? Yeah, I guess that's right. I don't know what it is about me and words tonight, man. Uh, but yeah. Eh, crap. Um, number 18 was moon. I really liked this moon. I was very proud of this one. This was just like slathering gouache on this thing. And it just kind of like was light in all the right places. And then, and then these two little lovebirds and my circles in the background. I really liked how this one came out. That's the only time I ever used gouache this month. But I should really use it more often because sometimes it's super surprising how well things turn out. Like, or at least, you know, turn out the way I want them to. Yeah. Especially going into it not expecting a thing, and it just doing what I want it to. It's pretty neat. <clears throat> uh, 19 was loop. I drew a roller coaster and some burbs and some kind of like cool sun. Um, 
I guess I just took a bunch of colors and kind of squished them together on here, but not too heavy that it was overwhelming to the paper. Uh, cause I got the sun to like, um, I put some yellow around it. So the, the circles around it are, uh, kind of yellowish too. And then the top of it's sort of red or pink. And then the rest is blue and purple and stuff. It was kind of sad to draw over it, but, um, you know, color around my circles on top of it, but uh, I like how it came out. This roller coaster was a pain in the butt to draw. I don't know why. Like, getting the lines did not look all poopy. Whatevs. I like it. Uh, number 20 was Sprout. Eh, just a little plant sprouting, <laughs> and then a regular size plant, an adult plant, a grown-up plant. And though she be but little, she is fierce. That is a Shakespeare quote. I believe it's from Midsummer Night's Dream. Don't kill me if I'm wrong, but I think that that's correct. <clears throat> Number 21 was Fuzzy. Ended up drawing a really fluffy cat being spooked about something. And it was a noise of some sort. It's probably like a blade of grass or something moving. And it was terrifying. Yep. <clears throat> uh, number 22 kind of came to be um, as I was working on it too. I started with just an open mouth and it became a fish and it became kind of a creepy fish. So I started looking up like cheesy pickup lines on Google and so it was. She's just like trying to keep her distance and yeah. <laughs> Number 23 was Leek. Uh, bird feeders busted and this bird is really happy about it. Mm-hmm. Pretty straightforward. And number 24 was extinct. This is a Plesiosaurus. Now I'm forgetting the name of it. Um an underwater dinosaur. They have really awesome, or had, I guess, awesome shaped fins. They're like paddles. I enjoyed drawing those. <laughs> and trying to play with uh, different greens and blues for the water to give it a more like oceanic feel than just straight blue. Yep. Number 25 was splat. Also kind of self-explanatory. These birds know exactly what they're doing. Number 26 was Connect. 
Um, I think I googled like animals connecting or something because I always draw animals of some sort, real or imagined, and uh, these two elephants came up. They were just chilling. It was an actual photo of some elephants, I believe. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it looked like they were just talking to each other. So, I made a comic out of it. Tell your friends you love them, dudes. Because you never know. Never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So, just tell them you love them. Doesn't have to be weird. Uh, number 27 was Spark. <laughs> so we got fireworks, and then we've got, like, emotional fireworks between these two cats. Yep. This was fun. I enjoyed playing with these fireworks a bit. I used uh, Posca pens to draw those in, or color those in, I guess. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, number 28 was crispy. This was fun to do. Uh, three little panels <laughs> to form a little comic about a bird. Um, so I read up on birds getting electrocuted by electric fences and, like, telephone wires and stuff. I wanted to see if it was possible. Uh, the consensus is not really. It's really rare. I mean, I kind of figured that anyway. <laughs> but then I looked up, then I looked up electric fences. Thought maybe that would be different. But it's not. They're pretty immune to electric fences. But, <laughs> on the off chance that a bird gets struck by lightning, I don't know if that ever happens, but I took another artistic liberty here and assumed that it could. So while this guy is hemming and hawing about being immune to electric fences, in comes this little lightning bolt cloud and fries him. <laughs> Doesn't kill him, but he's he's definitely crispy. Uh, I posted this, I think it was Instagram, that um, someone said that uh, that's not what electric fences look like. Uh, Whatever. That's what Google told me they looked like. So I don't know. Something about how they're not barbed or something. You know what? It's fine. Um, so my camera died and I don't know where it died, so I'm just gonna pick up here. This is a patch nose snake. <laughs> It's one of the first snakes I ever learned to identify in the wild here in Texas. Um, eh, the first one that I saw while I was out on a hike and I was like, mm, I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna go home and find out. So I did and learned about the patch nose snake. It's uh, got pretty simple colors, just like grays and sort of uh, tan lines. Um, and its face is kind of cute. It's got like this little, little taco nose. I don't know. I find it cute because I like snakes. But, uh, yeah, and he's wearing a patch because, um, I don't know. I think I was having trouble drawing his eye or something. So I was just like, screw it. I'll just put a patch on his face because patch nose. Anyway. Um, I think I actually changed... I did. I changed the writing on um, the bubbles here, the speech bubbles. I said something like, I'm not a pirate, I'm a patch nose snake. Arg, or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason I just didn't like 
this speech bubble at the time, so I changed it. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Uh, and then number 30, the slither. <laughs> I drew Nessie, my corn snake. against a blue background because she's like orange-ish. And uh, yeah, good colors. Outlined her in gold to give her a little more depth. <laughs> or maybe not depth, but just like texture or something. I don't know. I don't know what all these words are. They're just words. And the last one was risk as this guy is swimming with sharks and the shark wants to eat him. I had a friend uh, jokingly tell me that I'm spreading misinformation uh, about sharks being more dangerous than they are. I mean, you probably don't want to just play in them, play in like the ocean with them, but they're like snakes, I imagine. I don't know much about sharks, okay? Disclaimer. But I'm guessing that, like venomous snakes, if you just leave them alone, chances are they're going to go somewhere else and not bother you. Uh, and I guess sharks also, like, I don't know. I'm not going to speak on it because I don't know. Anyway, it's just a comic. It's supposed to be funny. That was my intention, so please don't hurt me. And that's it. That's Inktober. That's 30 drawings. Or 31 drawings. And two more that uh, I replaced with others. So, like, 33 drawings? <laughs> oh my goodness. Why? I start filming and my nose starts getting really itchy for no reason. <laughs> um, yeah, dudes. Um, that's Inktober. I'm probably going to do it again next year just because I really love the challenge. I really love come November 1st. I've got this sweet stack. I've got a sweet stack of work, of hours of work that I put into something. And, you know, it just feels really good. I don't, I don't know. I like, I like Inktober just because it, it has a large community. I know that there's some con like, some 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 like, anger and stuff. That's, you know, some drama there. But um, I don't, I don't care. I like their prompts. I like the fact that so many people still do it and upload, and like I just get to see all these different people and meet all these. Um, you know, like, discover all these different artists, and I don't know, I just, I really appreciate it as a, as an October thing, and I've looked forward to it for several years now, so. Unless a meteor hits the Earth, I'm probably still going to do Inktober next year, and I'm going to like it. So there. Yeah, thank you for watching I will have some more content here shortly. I believe I am taking a break from drawing for like a week or two here um, just because, holy cow, I want to read books and play video games and watch Netflix and like do whatever for a little bit and not have to not have to stress myself out with you need to draw this by this amount of time. I don't know. I was actually kind of planning a little drawing here this week for uh, the weekly Inktober thing. Um, the word is layer, and I have some ideas for that. So we'll see. Maybe I'll get around to do that. Um, but in the meantime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.